Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the quest port to Stride. I think it's been around like what, one year that I played this game? It's pretty cool that the developers managed to port this to quest now, since it is one of the kind. Like, we didn't really have something strictly parkourish like Mirror's Edge, aside from some custom maps on Rec Room, basically. I do wonder if the version will be essentially the same from PC VR. When I tested it, there wasn't much going on, and I wonder if development kinda pushed towards what they were planning, but we'll see as always. So, Stride is a parkour action game where you go into to sicko mode, jumping from the buildings, wall running and shooting enemies in style. It's essentially a wet dream for those who aspired to be the cool folk that do the high jumps and breaking their knees in real life. I was one of those because the whole vibe of it and stuff, it's so cool and it's part of the adrenaline that you will never experience unless you'll actually try it. But at least in VR it's much safer. <laughs> I believe the only thing that I tried in stride was the endless mode on Link, but it seems like we're gonna have additionally the arena mode and time run or something, so purely just running around and causing mayhem. I do remember however that they promised to bring some sort of the campaign and the storyline. Essentially that's what Mirror's Edge is known about. Not just randomness but actually having point in the gameplay. That kinda sucks we don't have this coming but I mean maybe with bigger budget they're gonna scrap something out like hopefully. Because to me after 20 minutes of playing it it was too repetitive to continue playing so. Mechanically this game stands strong although it has its wonky situations when you wall run or try to grab ledges while you're consistently progressing throughout the level without stopping. Sometimes the grabbing would not connect and it just was breaking the whole flow of the gameplay. Aside from that, it's a solid project. Not really reinventing the wheel because in the history of gaming of course we've seen already stuff like that. But the actual feeling in VR is probably one of the strongest immersion environments you can get into. And they solved like locomotion system pretty well I would say. It's not very much standardized VR controls but they work really well and don't really cause you an emotional sickness or else you're really prone to it. Well, let's see what's new with this game. Welcome to the tutorial. You can open the pause menu by pressing the menu button on your left controller. Use the left stick to walk. This is a new tutorial. It was not here when I played it on Link, so that's cool touch. To open a door, just push it while moving. You can turn either physically or by using the right stick. The game features smooth and snap turning. Give it a try and choose the option you like best. Mm hmm. Hiya. To run, wave your hand while walking. Let your hands down and hold down the jump button. Make a strong wave of oh. your arms <laughs> upward and release the button while swinging. I still can't remember how to play. To see the current goal, turn your right hand palm up. They really upgraded it, like it was not that detailed on the release day. Complete a quick task. Follow the markers. Go to the door if you want to skip the tutorial. I feel like they updated the movement kinda as well. Like it's much smoother than it used to be. So I'm kinda surprised so far. It's very fluid, I really feel comfortable. <laughs> Just moving around. You can jump off the obstacle. To do so, simply make another jump while you are above the obstacle. That's true, I remember that as well. Oh, already getting winded. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a whole workout. <laughs> to grip onto ledges, use the grip button on either controller. Is it fixed? Yes, okay, so now it's way easier to grab ledges. Nice. Much smoother. I actually feel fucking badass now. Woohoo! Huh. 
Honey money, my arms. <laughs> Oh, I remember there was a wall jump. I don't remember how. <laughs> jump to the wall at about 45 degrees. Hold While you left are in okay. contact with the wall, turn along the wall and continue to hold the walk forward button. Jump at the end of the wall run. Oh my god. The whole tutorial is a game. To perform a slide, squat down while running. Whew. To use the zip line. Simply jump towards the zip line and grab it. Oh, damn. <laughs> In order to use the grappling hook, jump towards it, pointing your hand towards it, and pressing the grip and trigger buttons simultaneously. Oh. You will come across snipers in various mods. To dodge the sniper shot, you can physically dodge when you see the laser sight. Put the right controller towards your left shoulder. Turn it towards you and hold the grip to grab the pistol. Excellent. Take a pistol and shoot seven times. To reload the pistol, lower it with the muzzle down. At difficult moments, as well as in combat, you can use focus. To do this, press B on the right controller. Focus is active for three seconds and then automatically turns off. I'm not talking because I'm focused, but I'll say when it's finished. In some game modes, you will encounter drones placing bomb traps, trip wires, air and land mines on the location. These traps can either be bypassed or destroyed by shooting at the center of the mechanism. The drone itself can also be destroyed with a few well-aimed shots to the body.
Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely love this. It's one of the strongest tutorials that I've played on Quest so far. Like, Jesus. This game really stepped it up. I think Arena is gonna be the most exciting thing because we actually are on the buildings just causing chaos. So, collect, chain, kill all. Fine with me. Wait, what? Oh shit, it's gonna be very easy to get lost, so I have to keep track of the map or whatever. I don't think there was music before. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, kinda suspicious of that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's kind of loud, you know? Shit! I'm gonna get you! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to plan my route like that's kind of interesting that I have to like think at the same time play Okay, that kind of sounds weird. <laughs> Always thinking, okay? Ow, ow, shit. Reach the checkpoint. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> My arms hurt like hell. I think this is kind of like this small circle and they just respawn, right? Punch him, bitch! <laughs> oh my god. Eliminate enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> I'm just so exhausted. That seems to be the case, just complete quests in this area, things are respawning, just... It's not small, it's not big, it's like ideally in the middle, so... Oh my god. <laughs> Should we do time run just real fast? We have tracks, I see. Let's do maybe normal free. I'm seriously winded up. Oh, 
That was weird. <laughs> Had to hide. <laughs> Finish. Okay, very nice. And I'm assuming endless is the same that I've tried. Just real quick. And the statue is disappearing. Okay. Dude, honestly, this is quite amazing what they did with this port. Like, I was skeptical because essentially what I tried before was just Endless, not the other modes. But what they did with the game and just the level of polish they brought, chef's kiss, honestly. But to be fair, like I said, playing more than half an hour, even though I would be just dead on the floor, would get repetitive and stuff like that. Endless kinda saves it because it automatically generates the obstacles and what's going on. Again, I want a campaign from this game because I like just progression. Like, maybe it's a weird fetish of mine, but I like to complete things and have a satisfaction that something had a start and an end. Besides that, this is pretty amazing what I've done and I'm looking forward to the future of it.